this video, I'm going to illustrate how to create dependent drop down list in Google Sheets. What you see currently here is what we're actually going to build today. So, this is the finished product. I have two Dropbox here. Column C, we have an items Dropbox for furniture items. And column B, we have the category Dropbox. And the items Dropbox is dependent off of the category Dropbox. So you can see right now I have a list of different items that are related to the living room furniture category. I can select different items within this living room furniture category and it will perform a dynamic VLOOKUP to pull in the price. Now I can change this category to a different one like bedroom or office and this dependent drop down list will change and you can see now we have items that are related to the office category and I can select one and pull in the appropriate price. So before we get into this, I just want to show you our source data, which is on this first tab called furniture listing. And you can see we have three tables. Each of the headers has our different categories. We have one for living room furniture sets with item descriptions and their prices and the same story for bedroom and office. So now we want to go through this all the way from start to finish and begin from scratch. So I'm going to go back to our orders tab that contains our drop boxes. I'm going to go click in these two cells here, go up to data and then data validation. I'm going to remove the validation and then delete the value in all of these cells here. And the first thing we want to do is add our category drop down list. So I'm going to go back to data, data validation. We want this first option here for our criteria list from a range. So I'm going to click in this box here to the right to select our data range. And then I'm going to go back to our furniture listings tab. And our first drop box is going to be our categories, which are this first row of headers here. So I'm going to select this first row and it does not matter that there are spaces uh, between some of the headers. It will, the Dropbox will only select cells that have values in them. So I'll click OK and then save. You go back there and you can see now we have our first Dropbox list. So now we want to add our second and dependent Dropbox list that is dependent on the first. But before we can do that, what we do need to do is name the ranges of the different range values that correspond to our first Dropbox categories. So I'm going to go back to our furniture listing tab and I'm going to select this first range of item values that corresponds to the living room going to go up to data and then about halfway down is named ranges to the right a box will appear you can see our range is selected there and now I just need to name it now the important thing here to remember is we made these headers here in the first row our first Dropbox value in order for this to work we need to name these ranges the same header that corresponds to the values below them. So I'm going to call this living room and this is living room with an underscore because you cannot have spaces in named ranges so that is why that is there. So I'm going to click done. I'm going to select my second range of values that corresponds to the bedroom. I'm going to come back over here and click add and call this bedroom. Done. And then our final range, which corresponds to the office. So now, somewhere below or to the right, it really doesn't matter. What we're going to do is insert an indirect function. Now, the indirect function allows you to 
pull a cell reference that is specified by a string, which doesn't sound too impressive, but it's nice for named ranges. Um, in the simplest approach, this is how the indirect function works. If we wanted to pull the value in cell B1 as a text reference, we can enclose B1 in text, which is quotes, and it'll pull in the value from cell B1. Well, you can actually also insert named ranges in there. And remember that we named our ranges on the other sheet the same as the values in our category Dropbox here. So I can simply point to this cell, hit enter, and you can see we have all of our furniture items that correspond to the living room. If I change this to bedroom, you can see this adjusts accordingly. So now what we want to do is select our cell here for the items list, go up to data, then data validation. Again, we want a list from a range. So I'm going to click this here and then we're going to select this range of values here, which is our indirect output based on our named range. Click OK and then save and you can see we have our value populate that corresponds to the category. Right now it's on office, so we have office furniture. If I change this to bedroom, you can see now we have a list of bedroom furniture. And you can see it adjusts based on the value selected here. Now, obviously, you probably don't want this visible, so you can always change the font to hide the values. It might be a good idea to protect those values, uh, protect those cells so no one types over them. But the final thing we want to do here is add a dynamic VLOOKUP function that pulls in the price based on the category and the item selected. Now to do that, what we need to do is name some more ranges. So I really want to keep this simple, but what I need to do here is name this two column range here, this two column range here, and so on. So what I'm going to do is select this first range. I'm going to add range again, and I'm going to keep this simple. It's the living room along with the prices, the items with the prices. So I'm going to call this living room and then add a P on the end for price. Click done and I'm going to repeat this for these other ranges. So this is bedroom with a P. Office with a P. So now what we're going to do is insert a VLOOKUP function. Our search key is going to be the item here selected, the individual item. Our range, again, we're going to use the indirect. And this time we're going to use our category in the first drop box because our named ranges are the category along with a P on the end of them for price. So I'm going to use the AND symbol to concatenate a P to the end of our named range drop box here. And in all of these, it's the second column. So our index is column two and we want an exact match. So our value is going to be zero for an exact match. So you can see this pulls in the value for sofa. Now if we change that to love seat, that adjusts accordingly. So you can see love seat is $499. Now if I change the category, we will get an error message because currently it, this cell here is doing a VLOOKUP on 
an item that doesn't correspond to bedroom, we have to change it until it adjusts. So now that we've selected an item in the bedroom set, our formula updates. But if you want to get around that, we can insert an if error function to pull back nothing, which is just two double quotes, so that if we change the category before we change the item, it won't pull back an NA error in the price cell. So now we can select something that corresponds to office furniture. And it takes it a second, but then it updates. So that is just how you can create a dependent Dropbox in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.